All right, I got the valve cover on. All I need to do is just clean the silicone off this and off that back there and maybe use some scotch bright on this part right here and on this part i poured some oil on the on the um forget what these are called and i poured oil down here and on the on the lifters i torqued them not torqued them but tightened them up and i rotated the engine and i came back up here tightened them again whatever is loose tighten them and then I rotated the engine again and then I done a half half turn plus then a quarter of a turn so all of them are good I spray painted it it looks pretty good so here we go all right I got the intake manifold back on uh, these bolts right here the um, intake manifold bolts uh, they are torqued to 35 foot pounds and they start in the middle so there's two on this side and two on that side so you need to go one two three four and then you start over here four five six seven eight nine wait nine and ten eleven and then twelve All right, go ahead and take your, uh, your, I forget what this is called, thermostat. Go ahead and take out the old, uh, uh, gasket. Go ahead and get your car, um, the, the gasket right here and just slide it over. It should not be hard to put on, so... How did that go on? Okay. Goes on just like that. A new new gasket for this old one I'm not sure what that's for let me see if it goes inside here okay yep it goes inside there okay this piece probably goes right there on top And this piece goes on the, on the, I'll show you. Okay, that uh, little paper, paper thing I was just saying, it goes right here. And this piece goes right here. You take out the two bolts, you put it down, and then you cinch it up. And, oh yeah, you got to put the new one, this thing, back in. All right. All right, it goes just like that, and then you put the bolts on, and you're done with this part. All right, I went ahead and put the alternator back on. I tightened these bolts up, and I got pretty much everything together besides the, the intake. So let me go ahead and do that and get the gaskets, and I'll show you how to do it. All right, this, this piece goes right here line it up and then put the put this back on and there's three bolts one here and then you got these these long ones this is for the 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 filter all right let me do this okay this is what i got so far i needed to add put in the distributor and make sure all the gas lines are tight or tightened down make sure everything is connected right now this is what i got so far and i need to clean up clean up the oil or clean up the dirt off this right here 
because I know I made it dirty by installing it but this is what I'm gonna do today make sure everything's tightened down and all the connections are good and the distributor and then the spark plugs okay here we go all right I got the distributor in the reason how you know that you put it in right this will be flush like it is you see how it's flush if it's not flush then you need to have you need to pull it out again and realign uh, the distributor to the pump of the oil pan or oil oil pump so just remove it and then try to line it up I know it's hard to see down there but uh, yeah it, it's pretty easy it's pretty much basic the last the last connections to the whole thing are this right here or oh, I can't even see right there plug that in and then plug this one in okay and then plug this into the distributor make sure it clicks I felt it click so that's good uh, the only thing left is to do my spark plugs and they do it in order I know this is that far in is pump I um, uh, piston one then it goes two then it goes three then it goes four five six seven eight Okay, I'm making sure my coolant is good and put a little bit in here. I think I overfilled this. I can just suck it out with, with a, a turkey baster. But yeah, right now I'm trying to get all the bubbles out of the system. And next I got to put the belt back on or the serpentine belt back on so I can go ahead and fire this thing up eventually. Sometime I want to fire it up today. So stay tuned for that one all right this is my serpentine belt i need to put back on but when before you put it on you need to make sure they're not cracking or discoloration or dry rotting so so this one looks good so i'm gonna go ahead and put that back on all right time to put this on uh don't got the belt on yet. I'm going to just go ahead and put this on. I got the belt somewhat on. All I have to do is just pull back on the tensioner and put the belt on. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Hopefully I got everything right so I can start it today. And find out if it's going to start. Oh yeah, I have to drain the oil pan. so And then add some oil to it. So hold on for that. Okay, I got all the spark plugs numbered from uh, firing order from or all the piston or, or the spark plugs goes to that piston number five, one, three, seven, two, six, eight, and four. So where's five? Oh, there we go. Okay, all right, let me put all these together. Well, I found out where this thing goes. It goes right here. It goes right there. And then you add this thing on top. It's like a gasket. Should fit right on. Okay. Then you plug this up to here. And here we go. All right, go ahead and add your air filter. I don't need to replace it. It's only a year old or not even a year old. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just use the same one. Now, if it was dirty and there was debris in it, yeah, I would go ahead and change it. It goes just like this. And then the cover goes on top of it. All right. All right, got it all in. Now I just need to focus on the spark plugs and uh, and the belt and to drain 
the oil out of this thing or drain the oil pan to make sure there's no coolant okay I'm excited to finally start this up after almost two weeks okay by going off this book I was wrong so it goes one two seven five six three four and eight so yeah okay I got them all right hopefully hopefully I got it right now all I gotta do is just make sure the oil is drained making sure I don't have any coolant in the system I'm not gonna start it right now it's just sitting sitting okay I tighten everything down I need to go ahead and tighten the gas bracket on you see this thing right here I need to tighten that to this nut right there so okay that's the only thing left I have to do besides drain the oil all right stay tuned okay I just put some engine oil in I'm not gonna start the vehicle at all yet um, what I'm doing is I'm adding the old oil that I that it was in the van before this happened so I'm a, I poured the oil in here and then I'm just gonna let it settle maybe for a couple hours and then drain the oil I don't think I'm gonna take the pan off I think it's I think it's good and then I'll probably drain it again put more oil in it and drain it again hopefully I can get all that uh, uh, stuff out of there all right okay I gotta take the oil out hopefully this did the job so I don't have to put more oil in it uh, looks looks decent but what do y'all think is it kind of milky I think it looks kind of milky I think it looks kind of milky to me back on and then I put the battery uh, cable back on so I'll give it a couple hours before I drain the final the final oil um, that oil was really uh, it, it had uh, coolant in it so that's one reason why I did it so I had an extra uh, five quarts of oil brand new so I just poured that in there and let that oil suck up all the the coolant and then I'm gonna drain it again and then I'm gonna add new oil in it and hopefully I can hopefully it starts okay stay tuned all right I put the belt back on and I drain the oil again to make sure there ain't no coolant in it now I'm about to add some oil okay be right back and I'm about to fire it up all right, when you go ahead and, and install your oil filter, dip your hand in some oil, like right here, and rub the gasket around. Don't draw, uh, don't install it dry. So it's nice and wet. Do not install this dry. All right. All right. I'm about to start it up. I hope I did everything okay. Here goes nothing. So far. 
It sounds quieter. And I don't hear any knocking. Sounds like I got a leak on the exhaust on this side. But it started right up. Well, it started right up and I'm pretty much I'm happy. I'm gonna let it stay on for maybe maybe 30 minutes just to get it warmed up and everything it's starting to smoke because there's oil on on the uh, exhaust manifold so it's gonna burn off there's probably oil inside of the see look I'll show you see it it's smoking right now This side's pretty good, but it's just this side. Okay, let me go around here. Sounds quiet. Sounds quiet than before. Make sure it's not leaking. it was leaking right up here I just dropped my phone last time it was leaking right here right there on this side on passenger side it is smoking bad this time but I don't see any leaks right now